Now, when it comes to children, a campaign in the Bay Area wants to educate people about the three most common preventable deaths, which are unsafe sleep, drowning, and abusive head trauma. In today's In Depth, I talked to a partner of the campaign about what parents and caregivers need to know. And joining me right now, we have Paula Scott, the Children's Board of Hillsborough County. Paula, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, you've got an awareness campaign. And folks, if you're watching this right now, we're going to remind you of some things when it comes to parenting that we should know about, but sometimes we forget. So let's talk about this program that you're working on. Let me even back up further than that. Children's Board, what exactly do you do? So the Children's Board is an organization within Hillsborough County that directs funding to nonprofit organizations to run programs and services for children to keep them healthy and safe, developmentally on track, ready to learn, and in safe and stable homes. Now, these, these nonprofits, how do you know they're, in quotes, doing the right thing? Is there a criteria that they have to follow? Yeah, any of our grants that we, um, any organizations that we fund with our grants go through a very competitive process to receive the grants, and then all of those dollars are tied to specific outcomes. So we can make sure that each dollar okay. that we're granted is doing exactly what we want it to do and that the organization is doing the best work. Also allows us to pick the best organizations to do the work that's needed to be done for the families and, and children in the county. Now you're calling this the Prevent Needless Deaths program. Tell me about the campaign and, and how do you awa raise awareness for a problem I would like to say is getting better but it seems to be getting worse. The, so the campaign itself is developed to educate parents and caregivers on what are essentially the three leading causes of 100% preventable child death. So we know those three leading causes of children that are dying right here in Hillsborough County are drowning, are infants dying of unsafe sleep, and abusive head trauma, or what's more commonly known as shaken baby syndrome. Which we were just discussing, which the, uh, 30 or 40 years ago, that you hardly ever heard that used, and maybe we didn't realize at the time the kind of damage that can cause. So let's go through each one of these categories. Let's start out with the first one, unsafe sleep. What do you mean by that? So unsafe sleep, just to give this conversation a little bit of context, children in Hillsborough, um, excuse me, in the Tampa Bay region, over the past five years, we've lost 196 children to one of the three causes. But when we talk about unsafe sleep, this will blow your mind. We've yeah. lost 136 infants under the age of one who are being exposed to unsafe sleep situations. Which is what? What, what do you mean unsafe sleep? So one of the things that we want to make sure that we advocate for is to end the, the um, co-sleeping or bed sharing with a young child. Mm -hmm. The reason being it, adult beds are very dangerous. There's comforters and pillows and soft mattresses and things. All of those pose a suffocation risk to an infant. In fact, increasing their chance of by 40 times more likely oh. to die in a bed sharing situation than if they're sleeping in a, a safe sleep environment. Now does this cross all socioeconomic barriers because some people might think in one particular case well if you don't have a lot of bed in your home in reality some people don't that that's kind of another way out. It absolutely does. Oh, it gosh. crosses all economic uh, socioeconomic barriers throughout the county. Now when that number shocks me because I know that okay we have four kids and uh, uh, ten grandkids so we're, we know <laughs> that sometimes in the middle of the night parents will let a child sleep with them momentarily. Is that where these deaths are occurring or is it something that the co-sleeping becomes more of a regular habit? It could be either one. Uh, if, you know, an unsafe sleep environment for an infant, you know, they can drown, I mean, they can die very quickly. So yeah, yeah. if you, if it's just a nap, we see uh, children that are suffocated while taking a nap with an adult. So oh, it's not just overnight, it's any time your child's sleeping, you need to make sure that they're provided with the ABCs of safe sleep, which we call um, alone, on their backs and in a crib. And the crib surface itself should be a firm mattress with a tight fitting sheet mm -hmm. that fits snugly to the crib rails. And that should be the only thing in the bed. So we need to take out the bumper pads, we need to take out blankets, stuffed animals, all of those things pose a suffocation risk to an infant and it's just unnecessary. Yeah, and again, we repeat it because we just did an item in the news the other day, on their backs. I remember we went through those side. Oh, it's on the side now. It's on the back. Right. No, on the backs. That's the best recommendation right now. Uh, let's talk about the second thing: head trauma, or sometimes called shaken baby syndrome. So, can this literally happen if a parent picks up a child in a rough manner? I mean, even even once? Yes, it can happen <sighs> once. And uh, damage over time is of course worse. But yes, shaking a baby even a single time can kill them or injure them for life. Uh, and yet, when some people shake the babies, you hear them say, well, I just wanted them to stop crying or stop something. And when they shook the baby, well, yeah, the baby stopped, but you may have 
cause premature death. Right. And that's the crazy thing is, is when you shake them, they do stop crying. Um, but it's certainly not a mechanism that you need to use to cope with the child that's crying. There are much better ways, um, humming and, and rocking with them, taking yeah. them for a walk. You need to figure out what parents need to figure out what those um, soothing things are for a, right. a baby so that you can help with the crime. And don't be afraid to call out and ask for help, too, if you need help taking care of a child. Okay, now this one. This one is drowning. Now, yes. uh, two things. Everybody kind of knows you have a bucket of water. A child can fall into that. I understand that drowning risk. Okay, this one, I'm not sure I fully understand it. This is a kitty dish, folks. This is probably holds maybe a cup, maybe a cup and a half of water. Kids can drown in that? As little as one inch of water. So we're talking uh, children at risk are very young that are drowning in a very small amount of water. So these are children that don't have the neck strength to move their face away from something that's blocking their airway. Mm -hmm. So these are young children. The buckets, toilets, those types of things are for your kiddo that's pulling up, maybe just walking, because they're top heavy. They get over it, they're interested right, in the water, yeah. they topple over. And then of course the outdoor hazards, which are pools, retention ponds, canals, all those things for mm, your toddler gosh. and up that are mobile that you need to keep your eyes on your kids. Does your organization sponsor classes for parenting? Because the reality is, I, you know, I wish there was a parenting class that was required for every senior that graduates from, maybe you should start out as a freshman, because there are some of these things you don't think about until sometimes it's too late. Right. So the Children's Board Family Resource Centers throughout Hillsborough County, there's six individual uh, centers, and they do a variety of parenting classes and education and safety uh, across the board, but including the, the elimination of these three causes of preventable child. Death. How did we determine that these were the only three causes of preventable deaths? Is that because this is the most obvious? They're, they're not the, the, three, the only three, but they are the top three in terms of data that comes from the medical examiner's office. We can look at those numbers and say number one is unsafe sleep deaths for infants. Yeah. Children over the age of one to six, it's drowning. Mm. And then shaken baby syndrome can happen from very little. And then the potty training years are another flashpoint for children that are actually being shaken. Yeah, and, and you know, we always had a rule of thumb. If the child's under three years old, do not leave that child alone anytime, any place. I mean, that I'm helicopter parent, helicopter grandparent, but you know what? If it kids, keeps the kids safe, that's great. That's Paula, right. thank you so much. Great work to Children's Boards of Hillsborough County. Let's hope that people listen and pay attention to the advice that you've been giving out. Thank, thank you. you.